and welcome to another AY McDonald how-to. My name is Quinn McCullough and today we are going to show you how to replace a jet pump pressure switch. If you are unsure if the power has been disconnected, check the input power posts of the pressure switch with a voltage meter. If you are not comfortable with confirming the power has been disconnected, please consult an electrician. Next, open a faucet or some other form of discharge after the pump in order to relieve the pressure in the pump and piping system. Close any valves before or after the pump in order to isolate the pump and reduce the amount of the system that might need to be drained. Now unscrew the nut that holds the pressure switch cover and inspect under the pressure switch cover for any burns, shorts, damaged wire insulation, connections, or debris. Make sure to inspect the pressure switch contact pads and if they appear to be damaged, then the switch will need to be replaced. Take note of the wire connections and their locations. Loosen the connection that is holding the pressure switch tube to the bottom of the pressure switch and pull the tube from the connection. There may be a small amount of water that drains from the tube. This is normal. Now there are a few things you need to remove. The wire connections, the cord and cord grip holding the input power wire to the switch, and the jam nut that holds the switch to the side of the motor. Once you've removed all those items from the switch, it's time to replace them. Start by installing the input power cord grip to the new switch. Position the new switch the same way as the old one and attach it to the motor using the jam nut. Reconnect the pressure switch tube to the bottom of the pressure switch and reconnect the wire connections in the correct positions. Once that is finished, replace the pressure switch cover and reopen pump isolating valves if equipped. From there, you can prime the pump, but be careful because dry running can damage the seal and cause leaking. Finally, reconnect the power to the pump and check for any leaks and listen for any abnormal sounds. Again, my name is Quinn McCullough and thanks for watching this AY McDonald how-to. Still have questions? Give us a call at 1-800-AY-CARES. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest.